Welcome to the pen tool in ToonSquid. Opening the app, we have a few basic navigations. At the top, snapping is turned on, and we have a selection of path modes to work with. Let's start with adding pre-made shapes. Using this drop-down menu, we can begin to manipulate the shape by its points. Choosing warp or perspective is going to prompt you to add an effect, which can be accessed in the properties panel. And you will know the effects are engaged when the FX button crops up next to the onion skin symbol. Opening the timeline will show how you can keyframe basic properties of the shape that are built within it. But this time, I want to change the color. So we go back to the properties panel and with path layer selected, meaning that whatever changes we make, they are going to only affect the drawing or the frame that I'm working on. If the animation layer was selected, it would affect the entire track. So back to under path style, we can open up our color wheel and at the top, you'll see three options. One for fill, the second for linear gradient, and the third for radial gradient which of course are all keyframable. And the panel holds multiple options for the detailed changes we may want to address, including blend modes. We can also work with the pen tool in points to morph. Noting that our drawings are not only housed in the timeline, but in the drawing layers section up top where they act independently as shapes, but are grouped within a single frame. Clicking on any point will draw up our morph menu with a variety of ways that we can transform our shape. Here, I duplicated the raindrop, setting the blend mode to color burn, added a path movement, and coming in closer, can rearrange the behavior of the keyframes individually. I'll add a warp effect, and then just keep experimenting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.